Hey guys, I'm Big Larry, and I'm here back with another Blu-ray review. Today we're reviewing Resident Evil Apocalypse, which is the second in the series of, you know, obviously Resident Evil. So this is the metal case I'm reviewing from Walmart that runs $15. As, of I, as far as I know right now, this case is only available at Walmart. So you see the little Blu-ray logo, yada, yada, yada. I mean, the Jonovich, the star of the movie, is... Right in the front, they went with a dark blue, kind of metallic, not the same as part one, though. Um, you go to the side, you have your Resident Evil uh, Apocalypse plastic title of the movie, which is nice, keep it plastic, I guess. And nothing on the back here. Now, there was a cardboard, blue cardboard cutout that sat here and told you about the movie, the running time, the ratio, so on and so forth, and the synopsis of the movie. But obviously, I threw that away, so I'm not going to look at that, that blank thing anymore. So, let's jump right into the movie itself, or into the inside of it. Let's pop this open. It's got a nice grip, by the way, to let you guys know. Um, it doesn't come with anything on the inside, which is surprising, but nice. Um, it has a metal grate. It's not actually a grate. It's just a picture of a metal grate, which I've got to say, I like the design of this movie case more than any other Apocalypse metal case that they have out so far of the, you know, of the three. This is probably my favorite, just the dark blue look, and the, the metal grate look, so on and so forth. So let's get into the movie itself. We have the the, we have the bonus feature, which is uh, a DVD format, basically the same as part one and the same as part three, when you see the three part three review, or if, you, or if you already have. It's the same documentary of all three movies, as well as the build-up for part four. That's more or less why they're releasing this metal edition. Um, so this is DVD format, which is kind of a disappointment when you get a Blu-ray. And you have your Blu-ray Resident Evil Apocalypse. Now, let's just jump into the transfer itself. The transfer wasn't bad. It's on par with part one, I think, maybe a hair better, if at all. Um, so nothing really spectacular about that. It's grainy, but again, as you get into the movie, you forget about it, you don't notice it. I definitely would not put this in your blu-ray player to show off your system to your friends it's only going to make you look bad all right so let's jump into the movie the movie itself stars uh mila jonovich as alice sienna Goleri as jill valentine yes they do have jill valentine in this movie um jill valentine and nemesis which was a, a big plus for a lot of game fans uh, resident evil game fans uh you also have Oded fair i'm sure i mispronounced that as carlos avera um Mike Epps is in this as LJ. He's actually kind of funny. Um, he has his own gold plated guns, and it's it's he's an in, he's an interesting character to say the least. I enjoy his character. I really do like his character. Uh, then you have Zach Ward as Nikolai, which if if you guys have seen um, Titus, the old TV show Titus, he, Zach Ward was his little brother. All right, and. You have Nemesis, which is just a, a character in a, in a suit. It's played by Matthew G. Taylor, but you'll never see him. You just see the suit. All right, so the, the general premise of the movie is it picks up right where part one left off. Um, the apocalypse just, I'm not going to ruin part one, but the, the apocalypse took off. The virus spread. They, didn't, they weren't able to contain it. Um, so it spread, and they quarantined the city off. There's... Jill Valentine, which is a, a, a what, raccoon city police department officer, and a couple of her, or one of her friends, or a porter, which is played by, I believe, if I had to guess, uh, Sandrine Holt, Terry Morales, if I remember that's, that's if I remember that's the correct one. Um, so it's it's her, her partner, Jill Valentine, her partner, uh, and the reporter. They're walking around. Sure shit, they get caught up in a, a church. Who were to but who is to bust in? But Mila Jovovich's character Alice. All of a sudden, she's a hardcore badass. Yeah, um, I didn't buy it. But as it goes on, you buy it a little more, um, and it gets a little more believable to a certain extent. Um, they kind of do. They tell you exactly what pro program Alice really is. All right, uh, so. The movie itself is not bad. You know, it goes on from there of them trying to escape the city before they get eaten by zombies and get killed by his nemesis and so on and so forth. There's a lot more to it than that. And uh, Carlos Avera, his he does come into the movie and he plays a 
pretty cool character. I actually like his character a lot. He's, he's a badass Russian, I believe. Uh, I know Zach Ward's character, Nikolai, is Russian. Um, I believe uh, Carlos Severa has a, a slight Russian accent, but I can't look my finger on it. So the movie itself is not bad. It's action. Uh, there's a, there's quite a bit of action there. Not as much on the horror side, though. i got to be honest with you. That's kind of a disappointment. Part 1 is a little more, I want to say, geared towards a horror style. This is almost complete take back from horror style. Not horror at all. So we'll uh, take away from that. But again, the movie is just not that bad, honestly. So you do get to bonus disc. It's on DVD format. The movie's not bad. The transfer's okay at most. Uh, but I do like this, this metal case, which I'm going to give an extra point or two for the case, just for the slickness of it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and review or give it a, a, the official answer for it. And I'm going to go ahead and give this one a solid C. Uh, not a C minus, not a C plus, just a solid C. It's just a hair below part one. I thought part one was a little better than this. Um, so C for the little features you get, look in the case. You got a few bump ups in, in the, the point category, I guess. So not a bad grade. Uh, if you've seen part one and you really enjoy part one, I would definitely check it out. Um, I don't know if you want to buy it. 15 bucks for a Blu-ray really is not that bad. So, but at least rent it. All right, it's not that bad. A lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. So anyways, guys, this is Big Larry. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. I have a lot more reviews on the way of more Blu-rays. Um, hopefully some more text and I have at the time of this video I have my Droid X on the way so hopefully I'll be doing some some Android and Droid X reviews for you uh, hopefully some app views so on and so forth all right guys so remember to rate comment subscribe and I will see you guys on the flip side